Okay. Well, hello, hello. I'm super excited about sharing a bold lip color look today, um, which you guys don't often see me in bold lips, but I am going to do um, a tutorial today on um, how to do the scarlet starlet type of look. And I chose a beautiful burgundy red color um, to use for my lips today. So I'm super excited to show you that. Um, it's going to be a little bit more of a dramatic look than I've done in the past. So I wanted to just jump right in. So um, I am going to share with you um, a picture of the look that I did last week. So um, let me know as you're jumping on here, um, you know, if you happen to see this video on this tutorial, but this was a really fun and simple um, summertime look, uh, shimmer all summer. And it had some really beautiful uh, purples in it and um, a, uh, a really pretty col color called frozen iris in it that I really love. And then some sunlit rose and a dusty rose and a little pop of crystalline for the inner corners of the eye. It was a really good tutorial. Um, so I hope if you missed that, you can go back and check on that. But today, check it out. I am going to do this bold scarlet starlet look. So this is also in the summer issue of the look. Um, and I'm just excited to show you this. It's actually pretty simple simple and easy um, uh, as far as the application uh, process and stuff goes. But I wanted to show you as well, and I don't think I can make it any bigger right now, but um, I can also post these in the comments. But the red lip looks um, in the bottom right hand corner here are very, very good to take a peek at because they are um, based on kind of like your skin tone, um, if you're a warm or cool, if you're beige, more bronze, those types of things, it gives some suggestions anyway on a different red color uh, as far as our lipstick goes. So um, in the, the look itself, uh, the beautiful model is wearing um, Scarlet Red and Berry Delight, um, which are two beautiful colors. That's a lipstick and a gloss on top. So that's how she achieved that look. But um, I am actually going to be doing one of the new liquid um, lipsticks, the matte liquid lipstick. So I'm excited to show you that. And it's actually in a color called Burgundy Orchid. So I'm going to jump in here. Um, I'll put that back up in just a minute. Um, but I want to jump in and get started here. So let me take that down so you can see me a little bit better here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the first, the eye color look. Okay. So I have already put on, as you know, I already have my foundation on my eyeliner. Um, this particular look actually calls for a gel liner, um, which I have the liquid on, but we do carry a gel lip, uh, like a gel um, eyeliner. Um, so if you like that consistency, uh, it's just a little bit more um, dramatic, then um, that would be a great option for you. It comes in a little um, jar and it'll last you forever. But I've got my concealer on my eyes just to kind of uh, mat, mat it out. So I've got the start of my canvas here. And then uh, the first color, the lookbook, it calls for smoky quartz on the base, okay, of the eye. And that's actually this um, silver color, the lighter one here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that with my all over powder brush. So I can get this color on here. So it's really pretty uh, shimmery, silvery color. It's very gorgeous. I love this color and I just don't wear it very often. So I was kind of excited to try this look because um, of these colors. I hardly ever wear them but they're gorgeous. And so I need to step out of my comfort zone, right? <laughs> Sometimes we have to just try new looks. So there we go. All right. So I just did that right on the lid, as you can see. And then the next color I'm going to apply with my, um, with my eye crease brush. Okay. And that's going to be this one here. The darker color It's called granite. So granite is going to be in the crease. All right. So granite in the crease. So I like to kind of angle the brush up and go from the outside in. And the reason for that is because um, where the brush hits first is going to be the most um, concentrated amount of color. And so we want to try to keep that, you know, to the outer edge of the eye as much as possible. So that way it kind of just goes right into the crease. So now we've got a little definition there. I'm going to take it down just a little bit into the corner here 
And notice I'm just kind of tapping it for right now. Um, and then when I go back over, I'm going to kind of blend it out a little bit with my all over um, blending brush that I love so much. So there we go. So again, I'm just kind of tapping it down at this angle here, and then I'm turning the brush to go across this way. So I don't know if you can kind of tell I'm going like this. So when I go up this way, um, it's kind of, it's going right into the crease with my brush here. So I'm just kind of tapping it. And then all of a sudden, isn't that amazing what can go just right in the crease there, how much that changes the look, um, just putting that little bit of contrast of a color in the crease. So I'm just going to kind of tap a little bit more. And then I am going to um, use my all over little brush here. This one um, looks like this. It's an eye blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of soften the edges just to make sure that there's no harsh lines there, that it kind of just blends itself out. So there is that. All right. So next up. Um, so that's really the eye look. <laughs> it's really just those two colors. So you can make this a lot more intense if you want to. Um, because I'm choosing such a bold lip color, though, I decided I'm going to kind of just keep this in the um, lighter shade here, if you will. And then I'm going to bold it out with the lips. So um, before we do the lips, though, let me go ahead and get my cheek color on. This particular look calls for a pretty... Um, color called Juicy Peach. So that's this color here. It looks really bold um, in color in the, you know, here <laughs> in the case. But um, these colors, you can really just blend them out as best as you can um, to feel, you know, to soften them out. You can really soften them out. It's more with the technique of the brushes. And always start out with a little and then you can add more if you want to. So I don't normally use Juicy Peach. So again, this is a new fun color for me. So I'm trying trying something new. It's a little on the warmer side than I usually go for more of the pinks. This has got a little bit more of a coral um, tone to it. Okay, so there's my cheeks. There we go. I'm doing it pretty simple and easy. And now let's go with the lip. So we're going to wrap it up with the lip here. So I am choosing um, Berry as a lip liner. And then the lipstick is, again, that liquid liquid lip um, stick and it's a matte color in burgundy orchid. So there we go. There is the start of my liner. So I did a little crisscross there and then I'm going to go on the outer edges. It's hard to talk and do your lip liner at the same time. There we go. So there's my lip lines, lip liner. Sometimes I would choose to actually color in um, my lips with the lip liner. But in this case, because the color is so bold and it's a matte, I'm going to be just fine without um, having to do that. So now I'm going to put the burgundy orchid here. Ooh, here we go. Mm. Oh, these liquid matte lipsticks feel so good. I love every time getting to, ooh, getting to uh, put these on. So there you go. So now imagine if I had my hair fluffed up, if I was in a black, you know, cocktail dress or something, it'd be pretty spectacular, right? So it was that simple though, really. Like, Two eyeshadows, we put a little cheek on, and then we went really bold with the lips. So how fun is this? So here is the Scarlet, um, the Scarlet look from um, the summer issue. And the only thing I changed was the lipstick. I decided to do um, the liquid uh, matte in the Burgundy Orchid instead of the Berry Delight um, that she used in that. But definitely I'll, I'll put these in the comments. I know I can't just, I can't make that. Oh wait, maybe I can. 
No, it's not making it that much bigger. So anyway, if you're interested in those red lipsticks based on your skin tone, um, take a look at that catalog if you happen to get one from your consultant. If not, then um, I can type these in the comments as well or in the description. So anyway, thank you for joining. I had another um, fun look and a little um, little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to um, see you back here again next Tuesday for another beauty tip. So thank you so much for joining me. And I so appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next